To draw the Lewis structure for Li2CO3, lithium carbonate, we first need to realize that Li, that's a metal, and then CO3, that's a group of nonmetals. It's the polyatomic ion called carbonate. When we have metals and then a nonmetal, that's going to be an ionic compound. And these metals here, they'll transfer their valence electrons to the nonmetals. So let's write Li on either side. And then we'll put the carbonate ion in the middle. If we go to the periodic table, we can see lithium, that's in group 1. So it has one valence electron. And it transfers that valence electron to the CO3 here. This lithium here, it also has one valence electron. It transfers it. Lithium, when it loses an electron, electrons are negative. So when it loses a negative charge, it becomes positive. This lithium here as well. Since each lithium lost a valence electron to the CO3 here, this is now 2 minus. Because we have positives and then these negatives, they're attracted and they form an ionic bond between the lithium and the carbonate. If you add these numbers all up, you'll get zero because Li2CO3, that's a neutral compound. What we've drawn is called a formula unit for Li2CO3. Normally, when we have an ionic compound, it's made up of a group of formula units in a repeating pattern called a crystal. So this is one formula unit in that crystal. And this is Dr. B with the Lewis structure for Li2CO3, lithium carbonate. Thanks for watching.